Hey everybody, uh, Lone Star Rocker here. Guess what? I've been asked to be in the next Raw Connect show at the House of Blues, September 19th. Super excited about that. Um, I've always kind of painted part-time and uh, tried to really put together some art recently. Uh, but today is the day that they're having the orientation at the House of Blues. Um, I'm gonna bring some artwork to have it framed, get that ready and do some preparation. So why don't you come along with me? We're gonna go to the House of Blues and check out the orientation and I'm gonna try to prepare for the Raw Connect show uh, that's coming up. Um, it's a big deal for me because I've always just painted when I was sad or to cope with grief. Um, and now I'm, I'm kind of stepping outside the box a little bit here out of my comfort zone to try to paint uh, as just being kind of an art guy. So anyway, let uh, let me show you some of my art, okay? So this piece will be in there for sure. And I think this was the painting that they saw that they liked and asked me to come on down. Pretty nifty. Here's an abstract leaf that I painted. Just kind of messing around with colors here, but uh, Definitely got the right framing. Finally found the framing that I want. Super happy about that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this in the show yet, but uh, it's pretty large, so they're only gonna give me, I think, a six by six foot fence to hang everything on. So we'll see when I get there. All right, so here's my homeless skeleton man. Still working on his hand a little bit here, but I should have him done by the show. And, uh, Got a little guitar in there. It's a little amp. <clears throat> so he's homeless, but he can still rock out. You know, that's cool. All right, so I got this painting I'm working on. It's kind of an experimental thing, but just some kind of abstract cubist type creature that I made. So kind of messing with colors and underpainting. But I don't know if I'm gonna put this one in the show. Here's one of my bigger paintings here. And as you can see, it's just a planet with a raft floating around. It's the first time I tried to do a nebula. What do you think? That nebula is from the fight scene of the Wrath of Khan. Look it up. You know, there's going to be someone out there that's going to say, those rings aren't perfect, but that's okay. Relax. It's just art, man. It's just art. And this one I'm also going to have framed. This one's going to end up in the show. So this is another one of my most recent paintings. And this one I'm taking to have framed. Nothing like spectacular here. It's more designy than it is a painting, but I'm gonna put this one in the show. So we're gonna take this to get it framed and go look at another painting that I'm having framed. So, but anyway, I'm going to head over to the Martin place and see about my painting that's about to be framed. But uh, I just wanted to say, you know, as a painter or as a, somebody who draws, um, that sometimes I feel like I'm a little out of my league, you know. I'm going to go to this place, I'm going to meet all these amazing artists, there's going to be great painters there. And I don't always feel that my art is up to par or uh, maybe a little primitive, you know, which it is. <laughs> but... Um, and maybe you feel that way. Maybe you get discouraged. You see these amazing artists sometimes and you look at your art and you're like, oh man, what am I doing wrong, you know? But don't be discouraged. Uh, look at other artists, see what they're doing, build off of that, always keep creating. Never stop making things because you will continue to evolve and your art will get better and better and you'll be amazed. Eventually you'll have these amazing pieces that you can look at and feel some self-accomplishment. So but anyway, let's head over to the Martin Place and see about my painting. It's gonna be an exciting evening. All right, so I'm at the Martin Place with one of my paintings here. We're gonna go inside. They're framing another piece of mine. So this is part one of preparation and getting ready to go to the show. I've got about six pieces I think I'm gonna show. He's gonna do some prints of my falling man. Um, this guy does great framework, so if you're in North Dallas, come check it out. I'll put a link down below. But anyway, let's go inside and see if my painting's ready, yeah. excited. Yay. He's going to do the same thing with this one. 
So I'm very excited and happy. Kind of an abstract guitar thing happening here. All right, that's awesome. Let's head to the House of Blues now for our orientation. So here I am at the House of Blues. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go, but we're gonna come in here and try to find the orientation thing. So I think I'm like five minutes late. <gasps> Y'all want to say anything? Oh, okay. Introduce y'all selves again? Right. Yeah. We're, good. we're happy to have host you guys. We'll go down there and show you the venue, get everything rolling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna have some down here and some upstairs. And so yeah, it's all seat, seat. All seating and all that type of stuff. This is the main stage, this is the big stage. When they get here. So I can know like the checklist and all that type of stuff. Because a lot of people, like the audience, like I just told him, the audience would like to come in early, see what's going on, be nosy, it's like we're not tired for that. Um, I want you guys to be set up. So if you have assistance, send that to us. So when you guys get here, the lineup on the walls and stuff like that. Easy and we're gonna have an amazing time. Alright? Alright? Alright. Right. Are y'all nervous?
Well, that is it. That's all the preparation I'm gonna get from this side, and then I gotta go home, hurry home and paint like a maniac, and get ready. This is kind of a big deal for me. So I am gonna try to step it up a notch and do my very best. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. I gotta head back home. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I want you to have a most rocking day.